Scott. Hi. In this video tip, I'd like to show you one of the not so creative tools in Photoshop and how you can actually use it to enhance your creativity. It's the crop tool. By default, your use of the crop tool may not be so glamorous and you might just be used to actually cropping around an image, pressing return, and experimenting, undoing and experimenting with various uh, crop sizes. But one of the things that you can do with the crop tool is actually help use it to compose your image. So here I have a picture of a tree. Nothing spectacular. It's a nice photo, but I really want to help try to make it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop around the tree. I'm going to use this uh, the handles that appear at the bounding box. I'm just going to drag them around and actually compose my image inside of this crop box. So this way it'll help me get it right the first time. Press enter. Now I've got actually more of a panoramic view of what was an original photo. And I still have that tree in focus, and the tree still occupies a great amount of the picture, but it just looks a little bit better. Another thing I could do, so I can actually increase the canvas size. What I'll do, I'll just drag the bottom handles out a little bit, and I'm going to press Enter, Return. As you can see, it filled my background with the background color in the toolbox, which is white. Pretty nice effect. By itself, that didn't do much, but what I'll do here is I'm going to select the whole entire area again. I'm going to hold down the Option and the Shift key. I'm going to just bring that out a bit. Bring the bottom down quite a bit, and I'm going to bring the top up just to match the left and the right sides. Select my type tool. I'm just going to type some big blue sky. Some simple text here, just to give you an idea for the type of effect that this can be used for. One last thing I'm going to show you with the crop tool is how you can modify the default settings a little bit. So by default, when I draw a crop area around the image, Photoshop will actually put that at black and it will actually set it at 75% opacity. Well, to some people that might be fine, but to others, that area around the image is either distracting to them and they don't want to see anything, or they don't actually want to see anything, any that image, that area around the image grayed out at all. So one of the things you can do, if you don't want to see anything around the image as far as it being grayed out, just uncheck the shield button and that'll just show you your crop box here and then the rest of the image will still be intact. If you do like using that area, but you don't want to see the background of what you're cropping out, just bring the opacity up to 100%. You can also go in here, you could change the color to white, click OK, it's now white, or you can actually set it to a mid-gray color and this is what I usually do. This way, the neutral tone actually helps me work better because I'm not distracted by what's in the background. Black or white can tend to be um, a little too far on either end of the spectrum, and that neutral gray color really helps, helps me work with my images. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll compose my image the way I was before. And I'll create some of that panoramic view that I just had, and I'll press Enter. So again, just various ways that you can use a tool that you might not have thought of. Um, what I encourage you to do is stop by the forums, post your questions in there. Um, there's a lot of great members out there answering questions in the forum and a lot of great questions that are getting posted to the forum. So you can learn a lot either way. Hope you enjoyed this tip and I'll see you next time. Thanks.